What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be painting the calipers in a color that I've been wanting to do on a car for a long time. And for those of you who watched my last video, you guys know what color we're doing and we are going to do yellow. And I think the, the yellow will flow really well with the color of the car and with the wheels. And I think it'll be a pretty good touch to this yellow stem that is on the wheel. I think that'll just give it a good contrast as well. So the colors I was debating between was yellow and orange. The reason why I didn't go with orange is because I think the yellow will flow really well with the wrap color that I have in mind later on. So it's just tying everything in together and we're just prepping for that moment in time. Let's go ahead and remove the wheels, jack the car up, and we're just gonna start off with the passenger side first, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the driver's side, just because it's a little bit easier to just get everything done here and just take out the car and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get these off. But just looking at the caliper itself, it does look a little dirty on both the front and the back of the car. So what I did is I got some of the steel wool at O'Reilly's and we do have some brake cleaner. We do have some of this brake cleaner so we're going to spray that on the caliper as well as use the steel wool to get most of the dirt off the caliper. Then we're going to use the primer. We're going to use about five coats before spraying on the yellow paint. And then once we got five coats of this, five coats of this, we're probably going to do about three coats or so of the gloss clear just so we can have a clear looking look for the caliper. And I think this is going to be a pretty good project. Um, I got, got somewhere to go somewhere later today, so hopefully we can finish all four. If not, I'm just going to finish the passenger side and then we'll move on to the driver's side tomorrow. Let's go ahead and clean these calipers first and then we'll start getting the primer on and then we'll start painting the caliper. So now that the front and the rear calipers are, for the most part, pretty cleaned off, we're gonna go ahead and grab a garbage bag. And I'll show you guys the method that I'm gonna use to wrap around the rotor, as well as cover up most of the car around the fence. So the method you're gonna be using with your garbage bag is, make sure you open it up. So you're gonna pull it back and make sure that it opens up a hole on one of the corners with mine we have like the the handles so you're gonna want to rip it off go ahead and open it up so it's all the way to the end and then once you reach all the way to the end you're gonna keep ripping it more down the seam so now that you got your garbage bag let's go ahead and head to the rotor so i didn't show you guys in the front rotor but you're gonna make a small little slit if you guys have a small knife you guys can use that but i'm just gonna use my finger and just make a small little hole small little hole within the bag and you're just gonna use that hole and the elasticity of the bag and hook it underneath the rotor or hook it underneath the caliper hook it underneath the caliper and make sure you get it all the way around just like so so this make sure that you have your rotor cover and then we're just gonna use the excess material to cover everything else in the wheel well. So let's go ahead and do that before we start placing the primer. So now that we have covered up most of the car surrounding the caliper, we should be good to go to spray. Let me show you guys how it looks like right now. Front, we have it covered with most of the garbage bags and it just covers the, the only thing that ex is exposed is the caliper. And the back is a little better. Um, I use leftover mail to cover up some of the pieces that I couldn't get because I didn't want to reuse a full garbage bag just for that little piece. So we should be good to go in the back as well. So like I said earlier, we're gonna be starting off with the primer. We're gonna, probably gonna do like five coats of this guy. And we're gonna go very light on the first coat. After the first coat, we'll kinda go a little heavier, but for the first primer coat, we're gonna go very, very light just so we can kinda get it stuck on there and then we can get the caliper exposed to the primer itself. And also make sure you have a mask because it's gonna smell. I'm doing it in the garage and we crack the garage just a little bit. Last thing I do wanna mention is that prepping is everything. If you guys didn't clean it enough, there will be some spots that you will see that will lack the color on the caliper. So make sure you guys clean everything, every little crevice, every little piece on the caliper like that. And also make sure you cover up the car if you don't want any of the spray to get on the physical paint itself or anything in the wheel well. So as you guys can tell, I did do a very light spray for the first coat on the primer. Um, you wanna go very light and once after this coats after that, you can go a little heavier. 
um, not like too heavy, but heavier than the first coat. So let's go ahead and do the rears and then I'll update you guys as each coat goes along. First coat on the calipers finished. We're gonna wait 10 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and do the second coat and we'll continue to go along until we get to five coats of the primer. Second coat done, looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and move on to the third coat. Third coat is down and it's looking pretty good. Once this third coat of primer dries, we're gonna see how it looks like. And if we need to do a fourth coat and a fifth coat, we will. But just looking at it so far, it looks pretty good. We could probably move on to the yellow after the third, after this coat, or after the fourth coat, if anything. So me and my brother both examine the primer and it looks like three coats are good enough for what we have so far. We're gonna start off with the yellow and we're gonna go super light. We're gonna go super light again on the first coat and then each coat after that will go a little bit heavier. We're gonna aim for five, but if we don't and we think it's good enough to move on to the clear coat, we will. First coat of yellow is on. You guys saw it was very light, uh, not heavy. So once we get the second coat on and once this one dries, I'll show you guys how we do the second coat. We'll probably wait about 10 minutes. We'll just fast forward to that time. Second coat of the yellow is on. Looks pretty good. We'll wait 10 minutes and then we'll do the third coat. Fourth coat is now officially done. Looking better and better each coat as we go. I'll keep you guys updated. We might do a fifth but we'll see how it looks like after it dries. So we'll wait 10 to 15 minutes. All right, we just finished the last coat of the yellow. It looks pretty good. Very bright, which is what I wanted. We'll wait 15 minutes for this one to dry and then we'll see how it looks like. I don't think we'll need to do another coat. So I think five coats are good enough for this one. And then we'll hit it with the clear coat. We'll probably do maybe like two or three, just depending on how glossy we want it. But so far so good. I'm liking how it's turning out. We just completed the first coat of clear coat. I can't really tell when we completed the five coats of yellow, it was still glossy. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and do two light coats. Maybe the second coat is gonna be a little harsher than the first. So we just completed our last coat of the clear coat. I don't think we'll go any further. It does look pretty glossy right now, which does look pretty good. Sorry about the lawnmower in the back, but the back looks pretty good as well very bright and very yellow. We'll wait until it's finished drying to take off everything and we'll update you guys. But since we do have the wheels off, my brother recommended me trying on his wheels just to see how it looks like. And I'm pretty excited to see how it's gonna look. It's a, it's a little more aggressive than the RPF ones. The drying process is finally finished. For the most part, the calipers do look pretty dry. It doesn't look as wet. If it does look wet, it's either the gloss or we made a mistake and it's wet. I already put on my brother's Kanzai wheels on the rear end of the car and I don't want to show you guys just yet until we put it on the floor But I'll show you guys the front overall. I think it looks really good Like it just makes the caliper pop from the rest of the car Trying my best not to show the wheel, but it definitely gives a good little touch to the car that is much needed So let me go ahead and slap on another one of these Kanzai wheels to the front and we'll show you guys how it looks like. So we waited a good amount of time. We made it maybe like 20, 25 minutes um, for the paint to dry on the calipers. And like I said, calipers look really good. Let me know what you guys think. Let's take a look at the wheels itself on the car as well as the yellow calipers on the car. Damn. Okay, so that's the look of the car itself. And with the yellow calipers, I think the yellow calipers just tie everything in all together. With the aggressive wheel, you have something that pops a lot in the caliper itself. And in the back, even though the caliper is so small, it does give a tiny bit of contrast to the car as well as the wheel. With just a hint of yellow, I think it looks really good. But let me know what you guys think of the cons as on the car as well as the calipers. I think we did a pretty good job on the passenger side with the calipers. But overall, I'm like, I, I really like the wheels if it was in a different color. I think if it was in like maybe a lighter type of silver, like the RPF one, I think it would have looked pretty good, but it looks a little awkward with the same color, similar color to the car itself. Let's go ahead and put my actual wheels back on. Maybe I'll even run these for a week if my brother lets me. All right, y'all, so after putting both wheels back 
We have the RPF ones back on the car. Looks really good and I think it ties in really well with the blue stem on the tires. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So in the front, you can really, really tell with the caliper and it really sticks out. With the blue stem, you can't really tell from far away, but as you get a little bit closer, it does look pretty good with the yellow the RPF one and the blue stem. You come to the back and like I said earlier, the caliper is very tiny. Let me know what you guys think. I do like how it looks like with the RPF one. Maybe it's just the color compared to my brother's wheels, but we may do a video of that in the future, switching wheels and we'll go take pictures, stuff like that. So that's how it looks like on the passenger side. We're going to take care of the driver's side tomorrow because I do have something to take care of. And by the time I get back, maybe like nine o'clock at night, I probably won't see you guys then. And this is going to be the end of the video because the process on the driver's side is exactly the same. So if you guys found this video helpful, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And also, let me know what you guys think of which wheel looks better on the car in the comment section down below. Do you guys like the Kanzai's on the car or do you prefer the RPF one with the yellow calipers? And also, let me know how the yellow calipers look. Did I make a good choice? Should I went with red? orange should i went with a different color let me know in the comment section down below as well and we do have a couple more mods coming in the mail real real soon so definitely subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already and until the next video i'll see you guys in the next one peace